lent to me by my friend Eddie from Italian Pens. Uh, this is a uh, this is the um, Molteni Modello 54. As I've just shown you, Eddie lent me four of them, different finishes. So they're all very pretty. I would be hard pressed to pick one, but we'll get to that point. Uh, I am going to show you the pen. I'll cover all the parts. I'll talk a little bit about it. I'll do a writing sample, and then I'll tell you what I like about these pens and what I don't like about these pens. Let's get started. Okay, so here we go with these Maltanis, the Modelo 54. I was supposed to show you the box. Uh, Eddie asked me if I had the box. I said yes, and I'm sorry, I can't find it anywhere. However, if you look at my other Maltani uh, videos I have reviewed to other Maltani pens, you will see the box. It's the same box that you get with those pens. You also get it with these pens. Here you have them right next to Alami Safari, just for the comparison of size. As you can see, they're about the same length, but a little girthier than a safari. Okay, so just to make life a little easy, I am going to use only one to demonstrate the parts, otherwise this would be a very long video. They are all similar pens. Um, but I will give you a quick rotation to show you the material. This is a very attractive dark blue, which I really like. Then we have a very attractive turquoise, which I may like just a little bit more. Then we have this red, which is probably my favorite out of the four because I think it's a very nice popping red. And then finally we have this interesting chocolate brown, which is very dark to the point where it's almost black in some points, and in other uh, points you see this, this deep brown, which is also really quite nice. Now I'm going to use the, the red one, I'm sorry for the noise, to demonstrate because I like that one best. I also think the contrast with the white works quite well here. So, uh, what's interesting is that I got pens with two different nibs, and I can only see one nib online. So, you see two nibs, one is described as semi-flex. Um, I have the feeling that in reality the pens will come with this nib, because that is the picture I saw online on Italian pens. And for the record, Maltini pens are an Italian pens exclusive, so you have to go to italianpens.com if you want one. Okay, let me try and zoom in a bit so I can, I can show you these pens in detail. So what do we have? <clears throat> Finial, same material as the cap, uh, which I, really, I always really like, nice consistency. Um, this is also, as far as I can tell, one piece, so this is not a little screw-off dome. This is one piece, which I think is nice craftsmanship. We have the clip. The clip has a little wheel on it. It's very Delta-esque. Uh, works well, and it has the M for Multani on here. Then we get four metal rings, and um, on the barrel here we have a blind engraving. Multani pen Modelo 54 made in Italy, and this is number 9 of 90. Looking at this pen, and then looking at uh, some Leonardo pens, I definitely see the work of my friend Salvatore, who makes the, um, uh, sorry, the, the, the Leonardo pens, wow, and also makes <coughs> many of the pens for, if not all of the pens, for Armando Simoni Club. So he makes a lot of pens, and I'm, without even asking him, I'm, I'm certain he has made these too. I, I just see his hand in this, so to speak. Okay, we continue, slightly barrel-shaped barrel, right, and then we end here with a blind cap, and the blind cap has a Schmidt piston mechanism in it. If you've ever used a Delta uh, piston, so I took a sip there, and then you may know that sort of ratchet system that makes a noise. Uh, it's the same thing here. So it is a piston. I hold a nice amount of ink too. I haven't measured it, but it, it drew up quite a bit of ink from a from a, um, a sample vial. We uncap the pen. It, it's a, um, a a twist uh, cap which is about a turn, I would say, a full turn to uncap. And then we have the section, very interesting little hourglass-shaped section, which 
may look a little interesting, I'll come back to that, but I found it to be very, very comfortable. And then we have a number six Bach nib in 18 karat gold uh, with the Multani logo on it. And we have a plastic feed. And for those of you who like it, yes, these pens can be comfortably posted, making for a lovely size, a bit bigger without being obscene, which I really enjoy. <clears throat> Pardon me. So that is the parts of the pen. I think what we should do next is write with it. So here we go. Let me zoom out a bit. Multani. Modelo 54, 18K. It's a one size fits all nib uh, in medium. They are described as semi-flex. I, yeah, it's just a gold nib. So yes, you can push down on it if you want to. I'm not sure if you really should. You should definitely not push these too hard. The ink is a very simple Waterman blue. Why Waterman blue? Because I have to return these pens. So I don't want anything that will take me hours and hours to clean out of that pen. Writing is pleasant. These are pretty wet pens. I have used them, I have had them inked up for a while now, and every time I uncap them, they start up straight away and they write with a nice, juicy, wet line. Let's do a bit of fast writing. I think that's pretty good. I think there was a skip there that could have been user error, but I'm not 100% sure. In any case, I don't think anyone would write that fast, but maybe an occasional skip. For the normal writing though, I haven't had the skip and this is very smooth Rhodia paper. So I think it's a very nice, nice performance. As I said, pretty wet. Now as to this, this semi-flex, yeah. You can for sure get some line variation out of it. I just don't know if you really should push this too hard. Reverse writing gets a little scratchier, but is possible. And you definitely go from, I would say, a good medium to a nice fine. Now, just because I know that people may ask, and as I said, I'm not 100% sure which nibs these pens will come with. I'm pretty sure they will come with that nib that I've just shown you. But here you have the other nib, also nice, has a tiny bit of feedback, but I find that, personally I find that kind of nice feedback, um, also quite wet and um, a little bit of line variation too. These ones came labeled as semi-flex in particular. Yeah, there is a bit of line variation. Um, yeah, definitely scratchy, you can hear it upside down, but you can definitely write with it upside down. So, there you have it. Let's talk about what I like and what I don't like about these. What do I like, what do I not like about the Multani Modelo 54? Well, I'll be honest, I've been using these pens pretty extensively and I really like them. So I have a lot more likes than I have dislikes, but we'll talk about both, of course. First of all, a good ink capacity. These drew up quite a bit of ink. I filled them up from a sample vial, but it, 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 I, I forgot to measure how much went into it, but a sizable amount. So that was actually quite nice. Nothing insane, but I mean good. More than a cartridge, more than a converter, I'm pretty sure. Second thing that really matters to me is they are very comfortable. I find these sections slightly peculiar because they look very short, stocky, but they are really comfortable. And I've given these pens to a couple of people to try out at a local pen meet, and everyone said, yeah, that's, that's comfortable. Or they said, well, you know, this, this actually grew on me as I was using it, really quite nice. So I think that is, that is uh, really, really sweet. I like the fact that it has a blind cap. I prefer that over pens that have pistons that you turn by just turning this part. The reason for that is that you can post this and you won't get any mishaps. I have 
had this happen with pelicans, I've had this happen with Mont Blancs, that you, you try to, there you go. See that? Now the blind cap is in the cap. But if that would have been the piston turning knob, this would be squirting ink right now. And I like that it does not, right? It's a very nice touch. And yes, there's an extra step to filling it, but if you don't have the time to unscrew this in the, what, two seconds that that takes, you probably should use a pencil. So there is that. The pens are handmade in Italy. Uh, that is nice. Uh, we'll add to the price a bit. And um, I think the materials are, are really beautiful. Again, this, this red is my favorite. That is a, that's a stellar material. But they're all nice. They're all very attractive, pretty materials. And, uh, and so that, that is really cool. Now, they are limited to 99 pens per finish. Uh, and uh, so they, 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 there is a limitation. You, you, I, if you really want one, I wouldn't wait too long. Uh, 99 is not super limited, but it, it, it could be worse. Mont Blanc Hadrian, 4810, so 99 is, you know, that, that they will sell out. Anything I don't like so much? Well, uh, th there's the price, uh, by the way, which I, I think I haven't actually mentioned. Uh, I think the MSRP is six ninety five, but they retail for five forty five US. Not cheap uh, by all means, but again, uh, handmade in Italy, nice resins, gold nib, piston filler, um, limited. You know that all adds to the price. So five forty five. I was actually expecting something along the lines of seven ninety five when I was uh, playing with these before I had seen the price. So I don't think it is horrible. So what do I not like? Well, I have to nitpick because I really enjoy the pens. I enjoy the way they write, the way they feel, the way they look. The section in my mind looks a little strange and it makes the nib look a little odd as to proportions. But as I said before, it's not really a big deal because it is incredibly comfortable. And the people I lent the pen to to try out said, yeah, that's true, it is comfortable. The really big issue for me, and this really, when I say the big issue is actually a tiny issue, is that this part is very flat. You see how this section is ground off, it's a completely flat. To me it looks a little strange aesthetically. I would have liked if that was maybe a little tapered or something. Um, it gets maybe a tiny bit sharp, but your finger shouldn't really touch that when you hold it anyway. So this is really not a big deal. It's all I could come up with. And yeah, they're not, these are not hundred dollar pens. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the way it is. Uh, you, you, it's a bit of a matter if you can take it or leave it though, right? I mean, nobody's forcing you to buy it. 545 for this model, I would be willing to pay. Given the way they perform, the way they look, I'd be willing to pay that. And that's all as to it. So, I hope this was useful. A very kind thank you to Eddie for lending me the pens. They'll come back to you as soon as possible, maybe. And um, uh, I will gladly see you later. Bye-bye.